Whether you're buying a coupe or building a coupe, there's a few things that you can look for that are gonna make your life so much easier. Trust me. When I was a little girl, I wanted to save the world. When that didn't happen, I decided to create my own world where things changed for the better every single day. Welcome to Chickenlandia. Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. So while I am talking to you today, I am going to clean my coop. This is something that I actually very rarely do by myself because right now I have some physical limitations. And so I have a really good friend, her name is Julie. And usually her kiddo Annika comes with her and they come here and they help me clean my coop. But right now they cannot come. So I am going to have to do this myself. And it's just got me thinking about the design of my coop and what I can do to help you guys make it to where it's easy even if you don't have help. You will notice that my nesting boxes are stacked one on top of the other. If I had that to do over again, I might put them all on the same level just because it's easier to collect eggs that way and it's easier to clean them that way because I don't have to bend down or squat down to clean them. But they're nice. I mean, the top one isn't too tall. If it was taller, I probably wouldn't be able to get the eggs out of it. But that's only because I'm three feet tall. Okay, maybe not three feet tall, but uh, close. <laughs> the main thing about nesting boxes is that you just wanna make sure that you can get the eggs easily, but you also want them private enough for the chickens to be able to comfortably lay in them. Otherwise they'll find another place to lay eggs and it won't be convenient. <laughs> I wanna talk about my roost situation in here. <laughs> they are very cute, but they are a hot mess. Obviously I'm using a ladder as a roost and I love that. I love the design of that and how it looks, but it's very close to the wall. Also, there is a perch above it that's pretty close to the wall. And if I had that to do over again, I would pull the roost out maybe, you know, 15, 20 inches from the wall so that they're not pooping all over the coop wall. Now, I did make a coop hack that I'm super proud of and it helps to keep the wall clean and it's cute. So I'm gonna put the link to that video in the description. The other thing about my roost is that they're fairly close to each other and so the chickens do poop on each other at night sometimes. <laughs> I mean, it happens. <laughs> if I had to do that over again, or if I had just a different design, more space to work with, I would allow for 15 inches of space for each chicken, each standard size chicken, even though they will squeeze in and, you know, <laughs> be like totally on top of each other almost. It's good to have that much space in case there's like squabbling or you're integrating new chickens, it's just best. If you have your roosts at different heights, then you can space them about 15 or so inches apart. If they're all on the same level, you wanna put them about 18 inches apart. Those aren't hard and fast rules. I mean, really, I'm breaking all of those rules. <laughs> My chickens are fine, but it probably will be easier when it's time to clean. And you know, that's always good. One thing that I do like about this setup is that my roosts are nice and flat. So I just think that's more comfortable for the chickens, especially in colder climates. They can cover their little feet with their feathers. That being said, there are plenty of chickens that do just fine roosting on round roosts. There are plenty of chickens that do just fine, including mine, that roost on a skinny roost like that. In fact, this is like the most sought after roost in my coop. And then if you think about it, chickens will roost in the trees on branches. So roost size is not my hill to die on. For some people it is their hill to die on. <laughs> they really argue about it. But uh, for me, you know, it's whatever works. Just stepped on an egg. <laughs> uh, you don't want your roosts 
to be too high because then when they fly down from them they have more of a chance to injure their feet and you don't want to deal with bumblefoot or any of that stuff that being said i have some tiny chickens that roost up in the top of the roof <laughs> So you will see down in the corner here, there is a lot of poop. <laughs> That's normal. This is actually just from a few days. The reason why there's so much poop here is because the majority of pooping that chickens do is at night. I do have my first coop hack here. You'll see it's a tray that the ducks go into at night and that helps me keep this area cleaner. But that's just to control the duck poop there. If I had to do it over again, I would find a way to put a tray right under where the chickens roost that I could just pull out every couple days and throw right into the compost bin. And you'll see that in a lot of coop designs, there is a poop tray included. And you'll also see that in a lot of prefabricated coops. And I think that is absolutely brilliant because really that is half the battle is cleaning up the poop that they do at night. So if there's a way for you to do that easily every day or every few days, then your coop is gonna be so clean, like you are gonna be the envy of all your friends. <laughs> so aside from some high places where sometimes little tiny chickens will go up there, there is no place in this coop that I cannot get to. And that is really important. You want to be able to access this whole coop really because if a chicken gets sick, they might go into a corner or go into a secluded place and if you can't get to them then that's not good also a chicken will go into a secluded place and try and hatch out eggs <laughs> and before you know it you'll have 12 more little fluffy butts that you didn't plan for worst case scenario a chicken would die in a place that you can't get to we don't want that to happen let's 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 plan to not have that happen okay One thing that is super important to me is to not have to either bend over a lot or squat a lot to try and clean this coop. That would not be good for me because I gotta take care of my back and I don't wanna end up at the chiropractor or worse just because I was cleaning my coop. So I have this walk-in coop and that works great for me because I'm, I'm upright for most of the time when I'm in here. Even little coops, prefabricated or if you find plans for a little coop and it's just roosts and nesting boxes inside, even those, there's lots of designs where you don't have to bend over to clean it out. So I want you to look for those and think about that so that you can avoid problems in the future with your back. I cleaned it. <laughs> I did it. It's not that great, but you know what? It's good enough. You're literally cheesecake. <laughs> you are definitely going to want to make sure that you have enough coop space in your coop for the amount of chickens that you want to get. And you also want to be sure that your coop and run are predator proof. So you probably have questions about that. You probably have all kinds of questions. That's why I want you to click this playlist right here. It's Backyard Chickens 101. It's gonna have all that information for you and then some. And as always, it's 100% friendly chicken entertainment and education. You're gonna love it.